This is Wretched Radio with Todd Friel. Hey, Christian, there's still a political battleground. Don't lose hope. This is Wretched Radio. Perhaps you're thinking, oh, here we go. Now we're getting to it. We're going to start talking about what happened in Georgia and Pennsylvania. What happened in Wisconsin and Arizona? That's where the battleground is, and we got to win those things. That is not the battleground I'm talking about. There is a political battleground that for you, dear Christian, is so much more important than what's going to happen in Georgia, which, frankly, (laughs) most likely hijinks and shenanigans. The battleground for you, for me, right now, is our brains. Our brains are the battleground. This is where the spiritual war rages. This is where you and I will either have victory or defeat. 2 Corinthians 10. We are destroying speculations and every lofty thing raised up against the knowledge of God, and we are taking every thought captive to the obedience of God. If you're fretting, if you're worrying, you're so disturbed. You're not just mourning. You're not just aware, oh boy, I need to think through some things. What will happen if? Those are all valid considerations. You can take it as far as you choose to. Don't go Jimmy Baker far. Don't, don't, don't go Glenn Beck far. The point is, you do it whatever you think is best to prepare for the future. But the battleground that you and I are in right now is whether or not we will have thoughts of appropriate mourning, disappointment and sadness, and joy so that we can proclaim the excellencies of God through a season that is going to be rather sour, or so it appears. Your brain is either going to be dominated by Fox News, CNN, whatever it is that you're consuming, whatever the tweets are, and you are going to whiplash back and forth. And you have, haven't you? Come on, we all have. You oh, you went to bed, it looked really good, you woke up and it's like, what happened here? Then you start hearing, ooh, guess what? It's okay because even though the bad guy won, really, maybe we should say the bad gal. And by the way, <laughs> have no problems talking about their character in those terms. Because these, we're talking about people who want to slaughter babies and take away freedoms. That, that, that's what we're talking about here. The psalm he, any of them are not gun shy in talking about people who do bad things. We're, we're starting to maybe get that a little bit more. Nevertheless, you saw that and you went from here to there. Oh, I had joy. And well, I lost it. Wait a second. The lawsuits have been filed. Hey, did you see that one video? That one woman, she was in the conference call with, with Donald Trump. And it looks like things are going to get, they're filing lawsuits. Oh, did you see about in Gwinnett County in Georgia? There were 180,000 ballots. Do you know that there were 300,000 more people voting in Gwinnett County in Georgia that are actually registered? Did you see the one about the guy up in Michigan? Dead people are voting. Oh, oh, oh wait a second. He wants us to wear a mask when we walk outside of the house. Whoa, Who boy. told you what I did this weekend? Zing, pow. You, what you did this weekend? <laughs> yeah. You went leafing. A uh, leafing, yeah. Oh, that a boy. You no, caught but you, on. You basically just surpri- er, described everything I did this weekend. <laughs> uh, yeah, we just, it, it, that's very easy. And what, what, what I don't think is right is to just say to people, unplug, don't follow it. You, you, you're an adult. Figure out your life. I have enough to figure out mine. But we need to let the Bible guide us through this a little bit. Our brains are the battleground. That is the center. That's, that's your connective tissue between your spirit and your physical body. And they are no doubt connected. And if you're filling up your noggin, with all kinds of, with this, or it depends on what your news feed is. Uh, we went to check out, uh, is it called, I think, Parler? P-A-R-L-E-R. Never heard of it. Yeah, Parler is uh, supposedly an, oh, a new social alternative media. to Facebook. Yeah, there's yeah. a mass yeah. exodus from conservatives on, conservatives on Facebook yeah. to Parler. Yeah, okay. So by the, by the way, so I, we were just researching it to consider, is that where the ministry should be? Should we start posting stuff? You know, that conversation. Yeah. And so I pulled up Parler, P-A-R-L-E-R, and right, Wikipedia is like, this is a concoction of kooky conservatives who get together to spew their liberal or their, their <laughs> crazy theories. Oh, I see. Must be pretty good then. Yeah, that's, that's us. <laughs> <laughs> because if, 
Wikipedia is talking like that, and that's the first thing that pops up in my feed. Nevertheless, it depends on what hits your brain now. The question is, how are you going to deal with the stuff that hits your brain? Because you can try to turn it off, and you can't. You can't. You can't escape it. You'll get a billboard. You'll see a sign. Somebody will send you a tweet. You didn't ask them to, and they did. You'll read something from a congressman, and you'll go, oh, great. Oh, no. Do you know what he's planning now? And by the way, just a reminder, if all of the things that are being promised now from the presumptive president of the United States next, don't forget to thank one of the evangelicals who said, how you vote's no big deal. Make sure you thank them. For what's 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 the first thing coming that is, that is the promise now, Mike, at the moment? Masks as soon as you walk out the door. Thank you, evangelical think tank that told us not to worry about anything when, when it comes to voting because they're just all so evil. Mm-hmm. 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 When I read about the plans for the revolution that is coming when it comes to sexual issues, gender issues... Eight-year-olds being given a thumbs up by the next presumptive president of the United States. Oh, boy. Thank you. Thank you, evangelical geniuses who helped us to rethink how we go about the business of voting. Thank you. I'm really happy about the way that we've rethought all of these issues because we're so much smarter than we were. Thank you. <laughs> when more babies are dying, thank, thank you. The battleground of the Christian is the mind. Do not be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. If you think that you cannot glorify God, which is our chief end, that is why we are here. How you think will glorify him or will detract from his glory. Even as you sit in a jail cell, having been imprisoned just for being something Christian, or acting in a Christianly way, witnessing to somebody. You can still glorify him with how you're thinking about him and how you're thinking about your scenario. How's about your words? How you talk through these issues is going to be a testimony and will give God glory or it will detract. Now remember, God has intrinsic glory. That's going nowhere. But he created a physical universe to give him extrinsic glory outside the the external stuff that you and I were made to do. We are his workmanship. By the way, all of creation is. All of creation testifies to God's glory, all of it. Every pebble that is underground that you can't see, it is giving God praise because it exists. Why? Because he made it. You give him the maximum amount because you are the top of the creative heap. Don't forget that, Christian. And so we have a responsibility to be thinking, because we've got these noggins, to glorify God. And you can do it with your brain, and you can do it with your tongue that no unwholesome word proceeds from your mouth, but words that are good for edification, building up. Are you building up or are you tearing down your family? How are you talking about it? Huh? Do you, do you, ever, do you ever see this? Uh, this, this I, 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 am, I, I, I don't think that wearing a mask outside is a necessary thing. That's my opinion. Okay, this has nothing to do with what the government tells us to do. It just seems that you're you see kids out in a field playing, and they're you know they're just running around and they've got a mask on, and I just go, oh boy, what are those parents teaching their kids? Saw that saw that this 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 weekend when we went leafing, which apparently is a Midwestern term, because when I came into the office to say, hey, what'd you do this weekend? I know what I, I went leafing and I got looked at like I had three eyes in front of my face. Doesn't even make sense. Leafing. It's apparently it's a Minnesota term. You go leafing. We went leafing. So we're in this really sweet little town in northern Georgia. It's called Blue Ridge. It's right in the mountains. It's really sweet. Little on the touristy side, but nevertheless, if you like walking up and down the street looking at knickknacks and paddy wax, it's it's <laughs> not like it's not quite the Wisconsin Dells in that regard, or Dollywood. Nevertheless, I saw a dad yelling at his, at his son, who appeared to be about 12 years old, get that mask on, in a complete panic outside. And I thought, wow, what is he teaching that kid? Hold the phone, Henrietta. When you and I 
are talking about the political situation in harsh tones, nasty tones, very fearful tones. What are we telling our kids? What what are we teaching them with our words, with our unwholesome words, not edification words? I will guide guard my mouth with a muzzle while the wicked are in my presence, said the psalmist. The one who desires life to love and see good days must keep his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. You and I have some choices to make as we enter into this season of who are we going to glorify God with our thoughts, with our works, with our words, with our minds, with our being. Everything can go haywire out there, but there are most certainly things that we can control in here. This is Wretched Radio. If you have been going bonkers regarding health insurance, right now may be the perfect time for you to rethink how you pay for health care. I am thrilled to commend to you MediShare, a community of Christians sharing each other's health care bills. 400,000 members strong, sharing over $4 billion in medical bills. That means a savings on average per family of $500 per month. Find out more by going to MediShare.com slash wretched.